Horseshit! You illustrated this? Six months of plotting and drawing, I know when I damn well see it. And you never dug it out of your portfolio because... Well, I wanted to get it inked first. Whoever robbed this place must have been an actual comic fan. They cased this fucking place like Clooney and then they ripped us off! They went right for the money and the expensive merch. What kind of average burglar knows how much Incredible Hulk number 181 is worth? Fuck! How could I have been so blind? Check the information, jackass. There's gotta be a name on there somewhere. No fucking way. None of you are welcome in here. We didn't forget about those transvestite prostitutes. You ruined my mother's birthday. You gave my father a stroke. Yeah, well, next time, tell your dad to keep his hands off of other people's dates. You're Carlos Mencia of my comic, okay? And you ripped off all of our best merchandise. But I guess that's what you assholes wanted, wasn't it? Give me one reason not to take you both out into the street and pummel you! I have a weak bladder. Relax, Kiesel. These guys aren't gonna do anything. We can't afford it. Actually, You know, since you seem so... Eager to hide behind the authorities, we can do the exact same thing. Okay. We've been working on that for the past six months. Mm. It was absolutely no proof. I've got some original artwork left, and I can reproduce the rest. Are you some crappy sketches? Possession is eight tenths of the law, man. I'll handle this shit the old-fashioned way. Unlike the competition, we have video surveillance. How many episodes of uh, Xena has that camera caught you beating off to, Jingleberry? It's not even relevant. No, Battlestar Galactica? Alright, we didn't expect you guys to confess. We know you don't have any ethics or honor. We used to think you guys were just assholes, but now we realize you're the most bitter sacks of cow shit that have ever created this entire planet. You know, maybe we can't get our comics back from you, maybe. We'll never shut down your shitty store, but as God is my witness, we are not going to let you win that comic contest. You can leave now. Well, it was nice chatting you guys up. Uh, say hi to your dick if you ever see it again. Have you guys seen my books anywhere? I'm sure I just misplaced them, but what happened last time? Mike said you might lose your shit if I told you what I was doing, but I scanned the first 22 pages of your new stuff and I uploaded it to the suspended animation site. Fuck, you guys weren't supposed to see any of this. But that's not the best part. Tell them what he's won, Mike. You're in the top three contestants tonight at 12, and if you can maintain this position for the remainder of the evening, you're going to Comic-Con to face down those pricks from the other store. I... Can't believe you guys did this without my permission. You want this. You just needed someone to violently prod you in the right direction. You're in a red zone, bitch! I mean, art's not just some gimmick with me. You're stuck as the shit. You've got the talent. Yeah, man. They give you this awesome oversized check and everything. We can save the shop with that money. Okay, but there are other ways to save the shop. Like what? What are you so afraid of? If you place in the top three, you're going to fucking Comic Con. Greetings, Lord Darkon! Leave him alone. I have the next generation series guide on my cell phone, and I'm not afraid to bust it out. I'm way too frustrated to listen to the two of you go back and forth for the ten millionth time. If you're not interfere with our battle, I'll buy that pewter bust of Scotty. It's seventy-five ninety-five. That's fine. The Borg could totally wipe out the Sith. Please! The Borg symbolize all that is dark and bleak and depressing. Force is all about good times and good vibes. 
The Force is for hippies. Do you have any idea how much gay Kirk Spock fan fiction there is on the internet? Strong words for a franchise containing only one female in a sea of space cocks. We have Deanna Troy, Seven of Nine, and a Klingon with huge breasts. Trek has eye candy. Kirk fucked every green bitch he laid his eyes on. Just because you jerk it to Jerry Ryan doesn't mean she holds a candle to Slave Leia. Green bitches! And don't even get me started on Jabba. He's just a big green cock. Blasphemy! Let's go down the franchise's pros and cons. Con! Okay, don't ever do that again. The Empire was destroyed by fucking Ewoks! At least it wasn't Tribbles. No blue ghosts. No retarded time travel storylines. No awful wooden dialogue spoken by creepy wooden Hayden Christensen robots. Are you kidding me? Star Trek is high cheese, while Star Wars is high fantasy. Luke Skywalker looks two steps removed from a space disco. Starfleet uniforms look like figure skating costumes. The prequels suck! So did Enterprise, and more than half of the Trek film catalog. Star Trek presents us with a true utopian society, proving that it takes hard work to attain true peace. We have teleportation. All you have is lightsabers, which, mind you, is just another crude phallic image. You take it back! No way. I haven't even started with the characters. Spock epitomizes cool. Three words. Billy D. Williams. Just because he has a cape? Another thing. The ten minutes of long establishing shots of the Enterprise get really old really fast. And you honestly believe the Millennium Falcon could take on the Enterprise one-on-one? -on -one? It's laughable! <laughs> Are you insane? The Millennium Falcon blew up Death Stars. Death Stars blow up motherfucking planets! A Borg cube could totally take out the Death Star. You people have no secondary ships of note. You have the TIE Fighter. We have the Bird of Prey! Star Destroyers, need I say more? A squad of Peregrine fighters can take out a Cardassian Keldon class capital ship. Yeah, well, X-Wing sounds catchier. Han Solo is the biggest badass in this galaxy or any other. He could kick Kirk's ass any day. That's ridiculous! He made the Kobayashi Maru his bitch! Buy your statue and get the hell out of here already. I almost had him! That's another victory for yours truly! Farewell, Lord Darkon! We shall meet again, and when we do, it'll be on the field of battle! Hey, get back here and buy this piece of shit! You need to smoke a joint. I do. I look forward to displaying up in your corpse, you serpa! Blue pages, bird cages, boy. Shopping this late anyway. I didn't know I had a curfew. Well, you seem woefully unprepared for a sneak attack. You're not funny, Nathan. You used to think I was. Well, you used to be funny. So? So? So what are you doing here, Nathan? This is really in poor taste. Did you have something you wanted to say to me, or did you just want to prove that I could be raped at any second? Ouch, Nathan, who are you, my mother? Sometimes it feels like it. I mean, you used to like it when I called you. Hey, speaking of which, why are you still calling her? Someone has to. But that's just me picking up your slack again. Oh, so we're just being mean now. now I haven't been called mean since elementary school. Grow up. And considering the circumstances, I think I'm being pretty civil. Oh, relax. I was just making it. I'm not laughing. And, and you know what? I haven't been laughing. I, I don't know what makes you think that you could come over here and pretend that everything's okay. Because we haven't been in that place in a long time. But I don't think you get that. It was pretty clear when you kicked me out. Apparently not clear enough. And we both know it was for a good goddamn reason. We a good goddamn reason that started with another good goddamn reason in the first place. And fueled by a lot of other good goddamn reasons. Well said. I decided a long time ago that I wanted you. If you want to go around and be with other guys, then just say it. I mean, if you want to go slut around, just be honest about it. Okay. You are such a fucking dick. You know what? You always thought you were the end all be thou, haven't you? You know what? Your dick's not that big and you're not that great. Would that make you feel better if I said that? All right, you know what? Your vagina is like 20 something years old. You know how old that is in dog years? Like 140. Your vagina is almost 200 years old and I was gonna marry that vagina, but you fucked it all up. 
You are so fucking stupid. All I'm trying to say is that we both fucked up. I don't know why we can't just have a calm discussion about what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do? Maybe you should have called first and I could have calmly told you about what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get an apartment next year with Julie, I'm gonna graduate and get a degree, and I'm gonna get a career. What's your plan, Nate? My plan was to come here and make you see how stupid this is. I just don't understand why we can't work through everything. Don't give me that fucking, fuck, don't give me that, Nate, jeez. Seriously, why can't we? Because I don't have a plan? Yes, precisely. You barely even have a rough outline. But that's what I'm talking about. You just get mean. It's not mean, it's honest. You would think after rejection letter, after rejection letter, all those letters telling you no, that maybe you would just get it and that you would need a backup plan. All right, I'm through being nice, okay? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Maybe no one out there wants my stuff right now, but someone somewhere might be willing to give me a shot. I mean, this isn't the corporate world, Amy. It's not just graduate and get a job. This is art. How many artists out there are giving it everything like you are? I mean, what if there's someone out there who's better than you, who gets your shots? <sighs> call it passion, call it drive, call it whatever you want, but it's only, it's just, it's just your refusal to come to terms with real fucking life. Stop talking to me like a fucking child, Amy. This is what it takes pouring yourself into some, pouring all of yourself into something for some ungodly amount of time, just hoping that someone somewhere sees it in the same light that you do. I mean, I don't expect you to understand, seeing as you've never tried. Oh, please. You still have a fucking earphone in. You're fucking impossible. I tried. All right, remember that copy of Box Office Poison I lent you? I really thought that you could dig a stupid comic book, but that it could be some way that we could connect. I lent it to you and you lost track of it. You lost it. It was mine and I gave it to you. That says so much about us. Nate, we can't keep going on like this. It's going to hurt more and more every day. I know it hurts you. I don't want to do it anymore. I just can't. I can't do it anymore. All right, well, you can keep Rise Against and Fall Out Boy, but I'm taking out the line trio. So, which blade number 67, 79, and 102? Yep, 69 is nowhere in sight. Hey Mike, can you put these away for me? Ma don't get her social security check for another day or two. Wait, so which blade is garbage? But you'd sell that guy Archie without a word? Archie is a classic American icon. He fought the Punisher. I'll have you know that I uh, drew my own issue of Archie once. I consider submitting it all the time. A napkin doodle of Betty and Veronica in promiscuous poses does not constitute an issue. It's tailored to a select audience. This store sucks. 750. We're about to close. Did they post final submissions yet? Oh, so now we're excited, huh? Marion would get off the damn computer, we can see. I'm slaying pine drips. The hot's fetch quite the coin on the marketplace. If you would get off your little computer, we can try and make some actual coins in real life. You'll eat your words when I make us all rich beyond your furthest fantasies. Come on, Marion. I gotta get going and I wanna see where he's at on the list. Don't you dare address Lord Darkon, you sniveling fiend! I've not forgotten your feeble attempt on my life. No god should dare cast aside heroes as great and soul indeed as Lord Darkon. I'm no god, and I didn't kill you because I was angry. I killed you because gaming with you is like trying to hurt a dozen cats. You attempted to slay me! You false idol. Wield of celestial evil. However you want to justify it to yourself. When you least expect it, Lord Darkon shall have his revenge! I should probably expect revenge immediately, shouldn't I? <coughs> Shut up. I mean, I really don't have high hopes, just this nagging feeling like this is my last shot. Menstrual cycle incoming. Mike, I submit my stuff all the time. I just don't write home when it's, your style does not suit our needs at this point in time. Well, who gives a shit? The ideas that some of these people come up with, blech, and they all think they're brilliant. Well, you're actually brilliant, and you think all your shit is just garbage. Letters and letters of don't call us and we'll call you. I, I can connect the dots. I'm just astonished I even have a shot at this. Progress to some of these people is adding full frontal penetration to literally anything that doesn't already have it. Last we checked, you were in the early teens. As most good things are. Well, I'm not there. Check the 20s. 
No, what the fuck? You couldn't have dropped that much in four hours. See what I'm saying, guys? I told you, no one wants to read my shit. Man, there's still time. Precious moments. Ladies, shut your yammer holes, look at the screen. Number three! I fucking told you. <laughs> I never lost faith. I'm... I'm in. Number three with the bullet. I'm so proud of you. I can shit myself. So... So what? Well, are you ready to show those pussy folks who's boss? Let's wreck their shit. What do you say, guys? Season two road trip. Let's do this shit. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Ah, <laughs> oh, get off me, Marion! The name is Lord Darkon! on a new tour. Possibly a movie. I don't care. Spoiler alert, you're an ass bandit. 